YouTubers, subscribers, and friends, welcome back to my channel. I am off on another adventure. The summer is over. Thank goodness for the fall. But for some reason, Arizona still thinks it's summer because it's still hot outside, man. It's still in triple digits. Close that window. Last night I was bored, so I was on Google Earth looking for anything to go do an exploration video. I found a new labyrinth. This, this is going to be like the seventh one that I've found. I've never been to this one. So I'm going to go see if I can find it and get pictures of it in person. And also, I discovered a new crested swirl. So let's go see if I can find this crested in this uh, labyrinth or maze made out of rocks. Uh, I like looking for labyrinths. Um, so that's what I'm going to go do today. I got about a 35 mile drive all the way to the south area of Tucson, which is a bad area. I don't really like going down in that area that much, but I got to drive through this Saguaro Monument. And uh, I've already passed two Crescent Saguaros and a Golden Saguaro. Those I've already gone and seen and taken pictures of, but uh, yeah. Maybe I'll see some uh, wildlife trying to run across the road here or something. But that's what I'm off to. So let me get focusing on my driving. Just driving by. I see this coyote. It's just sitting on the side of the road. It's like a little buddy. Hey, buddy. These coyotes sit here because uh, people like to feed them. Now, I've showed these coyotes before, but sometimes they're not here. Look at him, he's watching me. There's usually more than one here. I don't see the other one. It's a little buddy. So every time I drive by this, I always say one day I'm going to stop and take a look at this little stagecoach. It's pretty cool. This is the actual spot where I have to go for the labyrinth, but it's closed up. So I got to figure out where to park and maybe hike through the desert or something. But this is a pretty cool little stagecoach. Let's see if I can go find it. I do not have a GPS pin location for it. I just know it was supposed to be somewhere behind them buildings over there, that Casitas. I see a little trail here. I've never been down here before. So uh, let's go check it out, see what we can find. Boy, there's some tall freaking saguaros. Who knows what else I'll find down here. Banging noises. Check out this spider web on this prickly pear cactus. It's huge. It's funnel spider web. I see this little sign right here. I wonder what this is. It's old. Meditation destination. Not even a trail going that way. Well, I can see the buildings over here, so maybe this trail will take me to it. Well, I hit a fence. There's an opening here. I 
should have got a GPS where I left my house. Oh, I see something over there, something big. Oh, that's a rocket. USA Chachi. Hmm. It's also somebody's house over there. I was way over there. Started walking back towards my car. I think I found it. Nature Trail. I think it's right there. So I was way off. Oh, it's not as big as I thought it was. It's a nice size maze. Found a rocket. I wasn't expecting to find a rocket. I want to get over there to that bench over there. See if I can get a better video of it. Got a crystal ball in the center. How do you get in the entrance though? Look at this bench. This looks pretty cool. Found it. It's like my seventh labyrinth. There's the entrance right here. That looks cool. Get a 360 degree view. And let's go see if I can find that crested now. All right, I'm gonna head back to my car. Look, rabbit. Wow, this prickly pear cactus still got fruit on it. We're in the fall and this thing still has fruit. That's amazing. Over here because uh, I just want to see what this thing is. I can't read what that says. Is it spin? Right. Cool. Spencer's observation. Alright, well, let's go find my car and go find it crested. Somewhere over there is my car. All right, now this crested sorrel is uh, going to be in somebody's yard, so hopefully I can be able to see it. Maybe ask him if I can take pictures of it. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. All right, I see one over there. It's a big fan crest, but it's kind of in the gated area. 
Maybe I can zoom in with my other camera. Let me back up and see if I get a better look from back here. Yeah, I get it from my camera. It's a big fat fan crested. Way, way on somebody's property. That's why you bring a zoom camera with you. Yeah, this one's going to be hard to see. I have to go down the road further. Trying to get a different shot. Trees are in the way. That one's hitting pretty good. It's all cracked up though side is that a looks like a split double one uh, it looks like the left side and then it looks like the right side most of the time when I see something like this on somebody's property I like to go up to the house and knock on the door and ask them if I can uh, take pictures but uh, this gate is locked up tight. I can't even get to the, the house. But the address that the person that saw and told me about it, it's the wrong street address. The address they gave me is way down there towards the end. And now it just happened to turn around and come back. I saw it. Yeah. Found it. Right there you can see the crest part. It's a beauty. I would say that thing's probably 15 feet tall. Let's get one last shot. Got some lady in a golf cart came out here. I don't know if she lives in this house. But uh, trying to talk to her. She says she'll be right back. I was talking to the neighbor. She drove out and asked me what I was doing and I told her, I'm trying to get pictures of that crested saguaro. And she said, uh, just uh, why don't you uh, go up to the ring the bell at the gate. I'm like, no, I don't want to bother anybody. Uh, she goes, well, I can text them, text them for you. And she told me their names and I was like, oh, okay, no problem. If that's not too much for you to do. And she said, okay. So she went over to their house and I don't know, she was gone for like 10 minutes and then she came back and she's like, nobody's answering the text but uh, if you like to leave your name and number you know maybe you can uh, give them a call and come back I just saw a yard sale sign I'm gonna go check out that yard sale and I said no that's okay this is pretty far I don't come down here that often but uh, thanks for your time and uh, then I told her about the kissing saguaro and there's another crest saguaro down that way so uh, she was interested in the crested swirl, so. But yeah, I got uh, some video. That's good enough for me. Let me go see if I can find anything at this yard sale. Check out what I got in that yard sale. I got this brass duck for a quarter. This thing is heavy. And I bought this Coleman light. It's a lamp that runs off of propane for two bucks. The guy says it works perfectly fine. He hasn't used it in 10 years. He says it needs uh, it needs these new things out there that you like. I don't know anything about this, but I got this from my sister because she's got a freaking, her yard is dark. And these things right here, the guy told me you can plug in a Coleman stove too. If you want to uh, run a stove while you run this light. He says it works perfectly. He's just tired of seeing it collect dust and figured he'd sell it. And uh, two bucks, Coleman. He said these things, he bought it 15 years ago with $75. So, yeah, that's cool, man. I gotta get my drink. But uh, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna head home and I head over to my sister's. I'll actually give this to her. If you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. It don't cost you anything. It's free. Like always, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I'm going, Mama Kiki. I'm going.
change, you filthy animal.